Let's look at electron transport chain as well as oxidative phosphorylation. Electron transport chain couples the transfer of electrons between a donor, such as NADH, and an acceptor, like oxygen. It is composed of four protein complexes, complex 1, 2, 3, and 4. It also has two carrier proteins, coenzyme Q and cytochrome C. There are two functions of the protein complex. First is to shuttle electrons. This is where you find the redox centers and greater reduction potential as you progress. So complex 4 has the highest reduction potential. The second function is to pump protons into the intermembrane space. And this happens with the free energy that is released from the electrons. NADH and FADH2 are processed differently. NADH goes through complex 1, 3, and 4, whereas FADH2 goes through complex 2, 3, and 4. Complex 1 pumps 4 protons, but complex 2 cannot pump any protons. Complex 3 pumps 4 protons as well, and complex 4 can pump 2 protons. Like mentioned before, NADH uses complex 1, 3, and 4 and would therefore pump out a total of 10 protons, whereas FADH2 uses complex 2, 3, and 4 and can pump out only 6 protons. Complex 1, 3, and 4 use the free energy of the electron transport chain to pump protons into the intermembrane space. This creates the electrochemical gradient with more positive charge in the intermembrane space. We can now use this gradient to synthesize ATP. Oxidative phosphorylation is the process by which the protons move down the concentration gradient into the matrix of the mitochondria. The protons pass through the F1, F0 ATPase and the energy can be harnessed by ATP synthase to reproduce ATP. Here is the overall reaction. The F1, F0 ATPase is a membrane protein. The F1 part has the ATP synthase and the protein stock binds F1 to F0, and the F0 is a proton channel. Here is the animation from Wikipedia, which shows the gamma subunit turning in the center. The incoming substrate, which is pink in color, is ADP, an inorganic phosphate, whereas the product in red is ATP. Let's do some math to figure out how many ATP molecules are produced. We know that four protons need to be transported into the matrix to synthesize one ATP. We also know that NADH pumps 10 protons and FADH2 pumps 6. Therefore, NADH should produce 2.5 molecules of ATP and FADH2 would produce 1.5. However, we round it up to 3 and 2 ATP. So what is the total ATP produced from one glucose molecule? If you add up all these numbers, you'll get 38 ATP per glucose molecule. Thank you. If you have any questions, please use the comment section below.